Hi everyone and welcome back to the Organized Notebook. In this video, we wanted to show you a comparison of TickTick and Notion. TickTick is a task and habit app which many of you have been talking about and we are pleasantly surprised by how great this app is for task and habits. So let's get started. So first we wanted to do an initial comparison between TickTick and Notion. So as you can see, TickTick has a inbox where you can put tasks and you can also see your today, next seven days assigned to me and so on. And you also have different views you can look at this in, which is a Kanban view, or if you have the upgrade, you can see it in timeline view. So these are all really useful and it's just a very clean layout for tasks. And you can also create your own list so that you can organize your tasks by lists and add certain filters, tags, and so on. And there's also a habit section over here where you can add dedicated habits to so that you can keep your tasks from habits separated. And the other thing you can do is actually create lists for notes only as well so that you can do pretty much three things with TickTick, which is to have your tasks, to have your notes, and to have habits, which we'll dive in later. And Notion, on the other hand, when you open a Notion page, you get greeted with pretty much a completely blank page, which is good and bad in that you have a lot you can do to customize it. But at the same time, you have to put in more effort in order to make the tool that you're looking for. So in this case, if we wanted some kind of task management system, you would type slash and then we would probably go for a board view and you would create a new database for it. So here you would have your tasks and you can move your task cards from in progress to complete this way. But with TickTick, what you would do is just to cross it off when you're done. So that would just be the difference here between TickTick and Notion on sort of a surface level. And next we wanted to show you a bit more in terms of recurring tasks. So one of the weaknesses of Notion is actually in its recurring task system because everything is in a database. It makes it a bit harder to actually create recurring tasks. So if we had, for example, a recurring task, you, what you would need to do is to add a new template by going to that blue button and type recurring task. And if we go back, you could actually click this three dots here and set the repeat, for example, to every day, every week, every month, every year. And you have to set what time this page gets created. So it's not quite a recurring task because you only see this task when it recurs on that time. But with TickTick, what you can do is to set recurring tasks by going to due date and you can go to repeat. And let's say if it's weekly, it automatically gets added to your entire calendar unless you actually stop it. So this is just really nice because when you're done with one, you can already see the next one already on your calendar. But with Notion, it's only going to show up on the day that you set it to. So in that way, it's hard to see a view of your future tasks. And this is also why Notion has some weaknesses in terms of being able to be used as a task management app. So the next thing we wanted to show you is that this TickTick actually includes save as template, which is really great because for example, we've also covered Todoist and Todoist doesn't have a save as template feature. So let's say that you have a template for easy recurring tasks and you wanted to add some things here like task description and you wanted every recurring task to have a task description. Well, now you've had this description here and all you have to do is click here and save as template and save. And now you have this template for this. And now if you wanted to add this easy recurring tasks as a template, you could go to your settings and go to templates and simply click here and apply. And now we have it applied here. So this is a really nice way that you can add templates to 
tick tick, which is something that we really like about Notion, for example. So as you can see, we just added this Notion template. And if you wanted to edit it, you can edit and let's say task description here and back. And if we added a new one and we select recurring task like this, it also shows a template like that. So these are two features that are very similar to each other and that we really like about TickTick. And the next thing we wanted to show you is to compare the way that the tasks are set up in TickTick versus Notion. So as we showed you before, you can see all of your tasks in this inbox and you can also add your tasks to lists here. So for example, if we wanted household chores, you can choose your color, view, folder, type and save. So now you could add your household chores here, for example, emptying the dishwasher. And then it would be added here and you would see it reflected in this list as well. And you could even show it as a Kanban view if you want. And you could add sections like kitchen and move it here like this. So this is something you can also do in Notion as well in that you can, now this is in board view like this, but you can also choose to change the layout so that it's going to be grouped by something else than status. So in that case, you would have to actually go here and add a property, which would be a multi-select. And let's say we have household here. And then what you can do is to go to layout and group by and choose multi-select. And now you see your recurring task here like this. And there's a bit more setup you do need to do for this to completely work because now you also need to show the status as well. Then we can see that we can also compare note taking. So to make a note taking in TickTick, you need to add a list that's specifically for notes like this and notes and save. And now you can just add a new note, meeting note like this. And you can either write down your ideas or use a template. So this is also very similar to Notion in that if you wanted a note taking database, you could do slash and then you can do a table, table view, and plus new database. And this could be for notes. And you could start adding meeting notes like this. So that's another option you can do with Notion. And the next thing we wanted to compare and contrast was actually the habit tracker. So in TickTick, there's a dedicated section for habit tracking. So if we click here, you can actually add habits like this, for example, walk 10,000 steps and you want to do it every day. You want to achieve it all and OK. And then you'll see this habit tracker here and you can just take it off like this which is really useful and quite intuitive as well. And you can even see some kind of interface like this. And unfortunately with Notion, there isn't quite such a good method for this, but you do have the option to simply download a template for habit tracking. We also have a bunch of habit tracking templates as well. So you have to kind of create it from scratch. And we'll just show you an example of a habit tracker that we've made. So we'll leave the link to this in the description below if you're interested, but basically you have to sort of create a more complicated setup in order to track your habits uh, compared to TickTick, which is already built in. So the next thing we wanted to show you is a cool sticky note feature that TickTick has that doesn't really exist in Notion. So this is really a feature that we love. And if we click this one and we go to the three dots here, you can actually open it as a sticky note. 
And this is super useful if you like having sticky notes on your page to remember to do certain activities. This is a great way to just change all of your tasks into sticky notes. So it really feels like you're using a physical sticky note. And the next thing that's cool is that you can actually add sub subtasks to TickTick. So this is a main task here. So let's say that we wanted to add another task. So which would be a subtask. And we can just drag this under sub subtasks. So if this is a task, then we have a subtask. And further, if you wanted to add more here, you could. And for that, you can click here to create an item. And then now you have a sub subtask like this. Subtask like this as well. And if you click these off, they also show up as tasks that are done. And you can see that this is completed here. And this task itself gets completed when all of your tasks inside the subtasks are completed, which is quite cool as well. Unfortunately, with Notion, it's a little bit harder to do the same thing because you actually would have to go to the three dots here and turn on sub items. And even when that's turned on, you have to then specifically set it up so that the sub items are going to count towards your main item. And then further, if you wanted another sub item inside there, it would just not work at all, or you'd have to do a lot just to make it happen. So this is definitely a great feature of Tick Tick that's just super intuitive to use. And finally, we wanted to cover what's locked by premium in Tick Tick. So Unfortunately, for example, calendar view is locked and in Notion, however, everything is free to use in terms of views. So you can just choose whatever view you want, table, board, timeline, gallery, list, calendar. So everything can be viewed in these ways inside one central database, which makes Notion very strong in that way. And some other things that are locked is if we go to settings, you'll see this premium. So the timeline calendar view, which also is included in Notion, cannot be done in TickTick, and some premium themes, durations, and so on. So there are some limitations with TickTick, but overall the free functions are really great. And if you're just looking for a really functional task manager that has a habit tracker and you can use notes like this, then TickTick is a great app for that. But if you want something more and you want more endless customization, multiple database views, and so on, then Notion could be better for you. So those are our thoughts on TickTick versus Notion. And we love both apps a lot. And we'd love to hear from you. Which one do you like the most? And how do you use each one? Let us know in the comments if you have any questions or anything confusing in this video. And we hope to see you in the next one.